Hello everybody and welcome back to an episode of the new Sith. We are jumping in again and we are talking really fast for some reason. I don't know why. We're going to try and do some good old stuff. Um, who are we going to play as? Let's go um, Lazarusi and give him a go. Uh, see if we can make good work of Flipper Dip Dip. Uh, we get depression and helicopter, helicopter. Yes, I will take helicopter boys. I quite like helicopter boys. Indeed, I do. I mean, they can be a little tricky because they do fire some rather explosive missiles that sometimes I would rather they not explode. But they are also pretty good in general. And um, they can actually blow up some stuff for you. You just got to be somewhat careful, as you can see there. I'm sure it'll hit us at some point. I'm, uh, I'm more than sure, in fact. But... Here we go. Let's see if we can get tank boys for the other... Look at that. <laughs> Amazing. Let's see if we can get tank boys for the other guy and have a helicopter on one and tank boys on the other. I think that would be really funny. Uh, we also have a bomb to squeeze into here. I'll just do that. And we get a spare key here as well. Good stuff. Extra bomb. And I'll bomb this as well. I'm just going whole hog on these golden chests here. And that is exactly, exactly why. Thank you for that. Very much so. I think we've got a reasonably good build set up here already. Reasonably good. Uh, what we're we doing today? So time, but time wise, we're not doing anything. So I think we'll maybe go mother this time around if we can uh, hack it. Let's go back to our room over here and see what we can get. I'm on a bit of a recordathon at the minute because the Christmas break is coming pretty soon, and I don't have many episodes backlogged. And by not many, I mean literally zero. And so, um, oh hello. I think we'd rather give that to the other fella, right? So let's take it and then drop it in the boss room so we don't accidentally flip off of it. Right, cool. Boss, how are you? We're not going to get a key this floor, unfortunately, which is kind of fine. And we are also going to get a lovely, useless bit of crap from this guy. <laughs> Dude, stop dropping bombs as soon as he moves, please. There you go. Pretty good with his little nuking power. Like, I mean, look at this stuff. The, the helicopter boys are, are kind of fantastic. Okay, we get this. We pop this. And we grab that. And we just keep on going down because we don't have a key right now. And we'll go back that way once we can. Good, good, good. But depression? Depression's fine. Everybody's had a little depression at some point in their life. It's, it's nothing to be ashamed of. It happens. And sometimes if an enemy goes into your um, into your uh, tears, then it gets hit by a beam of light. That's, that's how it works in real life as well, right? I mean, to be fair, I doubt many people with depression have opted to have someone step into their puddle of tears. So we don't really know. We don't really know. It, it, might, it might be exactly the same in real life, and we just haven't tested it yet. There hasn't been enough science done. Anyways, as for the question of the day today, um, have you ever been in a helicopter or skydive or anything like that? And if so, did you like it? Are you afraid? And if you haven't, would you like to? I think that could be interesting. I I don't know. How, I don't know about skydiving. Like, I'd, I'd definitely go in a helicopter. That wouldn't bother me. But skydiving, mm, I'm not particularly great with heights. But I'm not scared of heights. I just, I'm just not a huge fan of heights. Um, so I don't know. It's like, with an instructor and stuff, then it's like, yeah, it's obviously safer and stuff, but it still doesn't mean I might want to do it. I don't know. I don't know. I'm unsure. I'm undecided at the moment. God damn. This is, this dude's just nuking everyone. It's kind of perfect. Okay, good. Charge key is whatever. I I'll leave the charge key on the floor in case I need my flip charge. I'm going to go and do the boss now because I have soul heart health and it means I can uh, get my devil deal on, of which I'm not going to take and go for angel deal, but you know what I mean. Unfortunately, we do not have our helicopter boys to uh, to help us out here. We are going to try and get him, get him into our depression if we can. It's a little difficult to, to make happen. But... If we can, we will. There you go. Good bit of extra damage there. 
We will take that for the Soul Heart, and we'll take that as well. And we are looking pretty good ski to go to our item room, although we only have one key so far, so we want to do Mother. We're going to have to make a decision here. What else can we do? Beast? I guess we could do Beast. Although Beast is always a little boring, right? Beast is, is kind of the boss. that is not a bad boss, but that the, the path to Beast is just a little dull. Okay, good. The run isn't as long. You don't see as many items and stuff. Dude, this Rebirth Curse is really kicking our ass right now. Right, so are we going to get a key for item room? I'm going to guess no. The game doesn't like me, so... A strike incoming. We did not. We got a death card, though. Okay, so we have to go and take the key. <sighs> this is tricky. I guess I could just grab the planetarium chance and be on my way. But we're missing out on an item each by doing that, and that's not ideal. I'm going to do it anyway, so let's just go to Mother and uh, pretend we're happy with our decisions and move on. Uh, actually, first of all, let's see if we can find Secret Room. Maybe... Maybe Secret Room can help us out. I've not really thought about that. Um, it could be there. Uh, this is kind of a tricky one. I think it's here, but I'm not entirely sure. It's not there. Okay, it's probably over here then, right? Right. Probably here. There you go. And we do get two items here as well. Um, so we can grab that. Too many options is all always a bit iffy for me. But I'm going to take it. It can ruin your run really hard, but I don't care. It's fine. This man's has so many fire it. Right, okay. We are good to go. Feeling meh. About this run at the moment. We missed out on item room, but we got two items out of the uh, out of the secret room. So I feel like we've somewhat made up for our uh, prior issues, and we can just go on down here and uh, see what we can get. Good, 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 good. Let's hope this floor goes a bit better in the key department, shall we? Oh, dude, the, these this curse is back again. Why? Hey, okay, keys. Keys are back. Now, I'm curious to see how this works. So now I've got this item, these rooms are re-rolling. But what about if I leave and don't have the item anymore? They stay as what they were. So, right, if I leave and come back... Okay, no. So, this is interesting now. We've got multiple ways of working rooms. I actually quite like this. So, we can go in here now. Um, and this is kind of annoying because Jacob's ladder's there and I... I think it's going to disappear. This is really annoying, actually. I'm, I'm almost certain that if I take this, Jacob's Ladder is going to disappear. Which is really annoying. Right, I'm going to try and get a flip charge anyways before we do that, just in case I can take it. Because I don't exactly know. I think it's going to disappear anyways, which is a pr pretty upsetting. And once a room's been opened, I think it doesn't change after that point, so we should be mostly fine after that. Goddamn hate these enemies. I mean, everyone does. I don't even know why I, why I said it as a statement. It's just a, a known fact for Isaac players that these enemies are the worst. Two more rooms for flip -a dip dip Two more rooms and we'll be good. Poison should kill you, but I'll give you a little shot anyways. And one last room for Flip. Ooh, what the hell are you, little... Are you new? Are you new? These little... Little buddies, they're kind of cute. Right, back we go. More bombs. I'd like more keys, though. But two bombs we do need for this floor, so... That's good. Got to remember to get our uh, key piece when we can. Right, so come over here. We grab this. That's just a mean, mean item room. Flip won't do anything now. Not only does this item not have a flip variation, but it's still chance to spawn random locusts when collecting pickups. Chance increases with pickups rarity. Okay, that's still. I'm. I'm a bit. I'm. I'm not even a bit. I'm heavily, heavily displeased with that. 
It's very, very unfortunate. Heavily displeased. Tinted rock here, but we need our bombs right now. Yeah. If it was any other room, that wouldn't have happened, but we got unlucky. Let's crack that. When a deal doesn't appear after defeating the floor boss, um, the boss item is turned to an angel item for sale or a devil deal. Taking devil deals won't lock you out of a devil deal. We don't have a lot of money, so that's not great right now, but it's pretty interesting. Okay, hopefully we do get a planetarium at some point as well, so I need to be checking all of my floors to make sure. What's going on with you, big sir? What's going on with you? Being annoying is what? That's what's going on with you. Okay, there you go. Right. How many more rooms we got left here? The item will have a cost if it's gold. That's kind of amazing. Is that it? Is that is that all of our rooms? Is it just boss room now? Good that we got our helicopter boys ready. Oh no, it's not. Okay, cool. You guys are aiming for the completely wrong things here. We got a devil deal here or a bedroom. Let me go back to my other room first and see. Right, this is kind of this is kind of an interesting run here. This is kind of an interesting run. I like it. I'm just a little annoyed to not have gotten Jacob's ladder there. Okay, so we've got an angel deal here. I just need to make sure I actually get this right. Shop, room, angel deal. Ah, uh, the wrong goddamn key. Stupid. Cool, and we get Furton. This is kind of tricky, because Furton's real good. Furton's extra damage and stuff, but this literally just gives you an insane damage boost. Um, like, it literally just doubles your damage. So, it's kind of tricky in what to say here. Furton is more fun, though. I'll take Furton, because it's more fun. But that, that other one is really good. Um, technically, I should fight this guy. But yeah, the fact that we have the ability to use this um, for changing rooms, and if we don't want to use it for changing rooms, we can do that too. Really nice. Really, really nice. Now, this is unfortunately, yeah, not an easy fight. Oh, and I also used a bomb as well, you moron. You moron. Hopefully from my uh, mirror world, I can get another bomb back. Not having a fire to kill this guy on is, is tricky. It's nice when there's a fire in the room that you can just walk him into. Oh, my, um... My depression just helped me out. See, depression can always be useful. Even against flying enemies somehow. Bloody Penny is meh. Right. White fire, where art thou? Because I do not remember at all. I've probably gone past it already. Down here, maybe? Yeah, okay, we're good. And I don't remember where the mirror room is. Over here, maybe? Ooh. Well, that was useful. Unexpected. Thank you. Well, we got Crystal Key here, which is very, very good. We also got this as well, which is nice. Where's our shop at? Where is our shop at? Was this our shop? That might have been our shop at some point. Do I want my shop, or should I go into this room here? Devil deal I don't want to go for. Bedroom, if I had no hearts, I'd go for, but otherwise it's not great for us. Go in here. Not bad, not bad. We got bombs back, that's good. And we'll crack these open. Okay. Right, back over this way. Need to re-grab 
this. It's been a little tricky, this has, but we'll get in there. Have we done our boss yet? I don't remember. I do not remember. I don't remember where my mirror, mirror room is either. Okay, here we go. I don't think we have done our boss fight, right? I feel like I should have just taken the double damage because this isn't doing a ton. Oh, wait. Whoa. I've just had a... I've just had a... Um, a bit of a revelation here. Bit of a revelation. Hmm. Hold up, 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 hold up. Right. Back through here a second. Which is a bit of a revelation. Back over to my... This is, this is slow as hell, but I've just realized something pretty important. This item down here, uh, wherever my white fire is, there you go. This item down here, this trinket, it will give us a devil dealer angel item, but it said if it's gold, it has no cost. And if we've got mum's box, it counts as being gold, right? So I think we take that as our other dude, and then our boss item's gonna drop great shit, right? I think, I think I understand that correctly. Anyhow, let's continue on with this. Really, I can't destroy that poop? I am surprised by that. Cool. Grab those. Pop that, I guess. That's pretty fucking good. Oh, we can actually flip in here to get another item as well. I wasn't expecting that. Um, Boil Baby isn't really good enough. I'm not going to bother wasting the charge. That's pretty good. Oh, shit. I went somewhere I thought I'd been, but I hadn't. Right, back to this room. Oh, god damn it, I keep going the wrong way. Where is it I, I need to go? This way, then this way? Okay. This way. Come out here. And we come back over here. And let me just see what's going to be better. This hollow heart or that trinket. The hollow heart is pretty goddamn good. Two bone hearts of flaw is very strong. Not what I expected, but I'll take it. Pretty good stuff. Right, so let me just read this thoroughly. When a deal room doesn't appear after defeating the floor boss, the boss item is turned into an angel item for sale or a devil deal. Um, taking a devil item this way won't lock you into the devil deal. Yeah, so this is really good. We'll take this. W with it being gold, it having no cost is very, very strong. And we will go ahead and try and defeat our boss here. We've got two bombs we can actually use against this guy, which is always nice. This guy's a really annoying boss, and bombs do a crazy crap ton of damage against him. Unfortunately, I've been hit a good bit here. This guy's been tricky right now. There you go. Bullshit. Okay, so we have to kill the boss as this guy, otherwise it doesn't work. That's annoying. Okay, um... Okay, that's, that's annoying to find out, but good to know, I guess. And we have two doors, each with different curses. I think we'll go with this curse. I really like this idea of the curses you can choose. Not choose, but you know what I mean. Right, so we've not got any good rooms there, and we've not got any good rooms there, so... Both of these, we're gonna, um... We're gonna change back into the other ones. Change back into the rooms they should be. Right, cool. All good on that. Ben Penny's fine. Right, okay, so come in here. 
And we've got two mystery or... I think I'm going to go with the two mystery, to be honest. And then flip. Eh, it's not great, but it's fine. Ah, we got the, that curse. Okay. Right, so I need to be killing the boss as this guy for that, that Polaris thing to work, which is, yeah, like I said, annoying to find out, but makes a lot of sense. I think a hard time with this item at the moment. Go, my helicopter boys. That's a lot of rocks, my guy. Thank you, helicopter boy. I don't know how much damage those rockets do. I don't know if they're like full damage rockets or what. And then here we've got nothing great. So we'll, we'll go, come back to that when it's actually the shop. I really like this. The fact that we can sort of use what we want here for these. Makes a lot of sense, man. Makes a lot of sense. Go. Come back to the shop. See what a shop item has to offer. Unfortunately, not much. I will take the soul heart though. Battery acid? I don't know what battery acid is. I'm unsure of battery acid as an item. This is a really interesting run though. Oh, bugger. Sticky nickel. I don't think I need to bomb for that. Managed to get a card out of this guy. I'm just going to pop this. It's a bit risky, but... It's going to reveal some stuff for us. Such as the two of diamonds we've got here. Which I think I'm just going to pop straight away. Cool. Got a boss disc here. I'll just pop it and see what we get. I don't know what that item there is, but looks interesting. Using a card, 20% chance of granting an eternal heart. Of granting an eternal heart? Damn, that's strong. I thought it was a holy mantle that it gave, but that's, that's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Don't know where that Necronomicon effect came from, but thank you. Right. Da -dun, da -dun. These guys are going to be annoying, aren't they? Ooh, nice little uh, light beam effect there that I was not expecting. Right, so I need to do one more room and then do that. And then do the boss. I can't kill that little sack. Okay, luckily my boy's got him. Dude, my damage is pretty low overall. Right, so now we've got to do the boss as this guy. If we don't get an angel deal, we'll end up getting uh, good stuff. Okay, I'm not not a big fan of this room with this guy. We've not, unfortunately, we've not got a crystal key room yet. Ow, black heart spent there. Yeah, I definitely should have taken the seven, whatever it's called, item. I just think it would have been a lot better than this. I mean, photon is good, but it's just the damage on it isn't really enough. Oh, dude, there's so many burnies. This is really annoying. Yeah, I'm taking damage here. There's no doubt about that. Oh, shit. Mega Brimstone on that guy. He killed some of his own in the process, though, which I don't mind. Excuse me. That rock path was very, very aggressively homed towards me. Then normally it goes straight down the middle. Man, last wave, I think. It's been tricky, this has. This has been mighty tricky. How did you get yourself stuck down there, fella? Did you spawn there, or did you manage to work your way into that? Okay, one more wave. I thought we were on the last one there, but... we still got one more to go. Luckily, that brimstone does damage to the enemies he spawns, which is kind of funny. Okay, cool, we got that. We did get an angel deal, so no angel deal item there. We do have flip ready as well. All bandage, I guess we just take... Excuse me? For a reason, old bandage gave me a bunch of coins. 
bunch of cool coins. Ugh, man. You're gonna give me Breath of Life and... Mm. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. That's just rude. Not, not happy with this at all. I mean, I guess I'll still flip, but... It's not that worthwhile, to be honest. I know the poop just doesn't want to follow me. Right. What else do we want to do on this floor? Was there much? I can't remember. Enthusiastic about this run, but things aren't really going the way I wanted them to. Let's see. Um... Yeah, we'll take that. I don't know if they'll be flippable, though, but I think they will. Okay, right. Back we go. I think we're good to go now. Ugh, this run feels a bit like a slog at the minute. Right, down we go. Yeah, I want to know why old bandage gave us a bunch of pennies. Yeah, this guy feels extremely weak, and the Furton guy also feels pretty weak too, so... Not doing too hot on characters feeling strong at the moment. What's that cash room got to offer for us? Nothing really, unfortunately. I mean, there's a shop, but... We're looking for item rooms, or angel deals, or whatnot. Much else isn't super useful to us. Rotten Heart I will take. I've got an ace of diamonds here that I haven't really found a good use for yet. That was a very nice bomb there. Oh, God, I hate these enemies. Ugh, the way that they move scares me. Little Gish saved me by slowing them. That first one was beautiful. I'm still using um, my spacebar here to try and generate stuff if I can. That's kind of nice. You've slightly revealed the position here. Ooh, you guys can... Uh, do a little swappity swoo. That's kind of cool. That's pretty cool indeed. We did get an angel deal here. Angel deal. That, unfortunately, it doesn't have a flip item though. I thought angel deals we could flip in. Why can't we flip in these ones? I don't really know why. I mean, I guess I'll take this anyways, but eh. Maybe I should have just gone to the actual item room there. I don't know. And then here we've got regular shop or... We'll go back and get a regular shop, I think. Ooh, I love the way these guys, like, glimmer. The green glimmer on that guy. Right, well, what, what room is it we want here? Not arcade, next one, there you go. Vault. Vault rooms are iffy. Sometimes they're great, sometimes they're not. So far the I don't know. This this runs this runs missing a certain je ne sais quoi. Which I still don't really know what that means, but I'm sure one of you in the comments will point out that it, I'm using it horrendously wrong. Binky's rather nice. I'll take Binky on the other character, though. Right, we want to be doing the boss as the other character anyways here. Right, switch over. Burden. No, I do not want butter, thank you. I do not want butter. Ow! I just lost a whole soul heart as well from that. God damn it. Key. Good, good. Okay, back we go. And we'll grab that uh, binky as well for the fire rates. This guy's fire rates kind of meh. Thank you, binky. Um, and then we'll take on whatever this boss has to throw at us. A very, very bad bomb thrower there. Of course, depression. Do that when you can't do any damage. Thank you. Yeah, that, 
was nice. Still gotta be careful of these guys, though. They're not easy just because they're uh, all segmented like that. Okay, all good. And we did get ourselves an angel deal here as well. Apparently? Yes, okay. I was a bit confused then. Um, this is really good. We'll definitely take that. And then we've got Flip Ready. we got Holy Mantle and Beretta, which is not ideal. But, eh, it's not bad. Uh, Holy Mantle and Beretta. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad. I think that floor was okay. I think we skibbity scop to the next floor now. I have to use two soul hearts in this, but there you go. And we are away. Okay. Feeling okay. Holy Mantle is very good. I'm liking that. Obviously, cannot be upset about it. Still don't really know what these jumpy boys really do. They don't seem to do much. Okay. Okay, that guy just got demolished. Ow, holy man, although it's fine. Okay. Between the characters, we've got some good items. I'd, I'd like it a lot more if we had Jacob's Ladder in the mix, but sadly that, that dream was crushed. Although, we are getting doubled actives out of it now. The double trinket, sorry. I'm not liking this little little boy here that's doing his thing. Um, doubles chance... Uh, chance to generate extra flies and spiders. Hmm. Hmm. That's... I think I'm going to take that over this, which sounds crazy, but with even just one Rotten Heart, I think that's really good. Whoa, what's what's going with this big skull here? Oh, it's an actual... Oh, cool. It's one of the multi-bombable ones. I was not expecting that. I don't have another bomb though, heck. We'll come back to you. Right, cool. Double locked door here. You are a little tricky, my guy. Would like one more bomb, please. Nothing good there either. I'll come back in a second for those two. Oh god, you little spewer heads. They got some range in them, boy. Right, we hop in here. And in here we've got not an enemy, we've got Vault Havoc and Havoc Vault, sorry, and Jawbone. Meh. I'll take the randoms. Pot of gold. Do not understand what that does. Converts all bombs, keys, and most coin pickups into rainbow pennies. Rainbow pennies activate the effects of their own corresponding penny trinkets on pickup. Aha! Wait, wait. Converts all bombs, keys, and most coin pickups. Damn it, so now I can't get bombs. That's a bit annoying. That's a little bit annoying. I was hoping to be able to get a bomb. But I guess not. So my my question is just to the developers of this um, of what's it called um, milkshake, which is presumably what this item is from. Um, why, like the the penny trinkets that, that it says this adds? Uh, how do I get over here? What the fuck? Is this room meant to be like this? I'm confused. Anyways, um. The the the, pe the trinket pennies that this item produces can they drop naturally and if not why not <laughs> I really hope they can drop naturally because apart from picking up old bandage early I haven't seen any of them drop naturally and it's it's just an absolute waste to have it only tied to an item they should they should have a low percent chance to drop naturally too that'd be that'd be quite fun like it, it'd have to be low percent to make them not overpowered or what whatnot but. I think it could be cool. Right. 
Take out you. That was close, my guy. That was close. Got a library in here. I will go for a library. Ah, it's not a very good library. Eh. Gave us mom's knife for the floor. Oh, for the room. Okay, no. It's, tra it's trash. <laughs> Isn't this quality three? Hold up. For the room? Why for the room? That's pointless. <laughs> you have other items in the library pack that do it for the floor. Why not them ones? That was a butt penny penny. Okay. Just ignore you because I've got Holy Mantle. I don't care. I'm annoyed I'm not going to get any more bombs though. Oh, we got an item room here. Good, good. And it stayed as an item room. Nice. Um, so we go in here. Wait. No, 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 no. We don't go in there as you. We come back and we, we flip and we come back. I think. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Some strenuous thinking going on here. Hello, good sir. I wish you a good day in your death. You are fast as hell. My god, you are so fast. Just die already, fool. You're too quick. It's pretty good that I can get keys out of that, but I guess the only way for me to get bombs is for me to get a charge penny. Which I suppose is obviously still plausible, but it's an interesting idea. Right, so now I want to go into the item room here. And then, yes, okay, this is exactly what I was hoping for. Now this is angel deals. I'll take the Eucharist. I don't know how the Eucharist is going to work. I don't know who I need to be to activate you, Chris. I think it just works for both characters, right? Also, my angel deal chance is at 41%. Did I miss another thingy room? I think I did. Also, we are going to have to add transcendence to get across this room because it's just broken. Oh, wait, no. It's not broken anymore. It disappeared. Uh, right. Who do we want to go in as? I can't remember who we want to go in as now. Okay, no, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. Just go in, go in as you. Oh, we got a bomb, we got a bomb. We must have got a charred penny at some point. Oh, maybe bombs can drop when we're playing as the other character, actually. Dude, this, this, this boss is going to be rough for us right now. We've not got great damage at all. We've only got one bomb, I don't want to use it. Oh, dude. Oh man, this is going to be rough. My damage just sucks as this guy. Yeah, you're not going to chill out with that, my guy. Ah! Oh, I'm probably going to lose quite a lot of HP here. At least you've lost your mask ability now, for the most part. Okay, no, you haven't. I thought your max mask stopped doing its business now, but... Not even remotely, so... There you go, finally died. We got something not so great here. Wait, no, 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 don't go into that angel deal. Come out, go and do another room somehow. Flip over and then come back. Is there another room we can do? I don't even know if there is. Unless this pops, which I don't think it's going to do on four keys. Fuck's sake, game. Damn it! Why do you like this game? Alright, all my rooms have moved around and it's made things entirely very confusing. There's this. We got a host hat, something. We need a way to do a room, but 
I'm not seeing that right now. We don't have a way to bomb into our secret room either. Um, I need a way to flip. We don't have any keys to get in here either. I've balls this right up. Darn tootin', I've balls this right up. I don't think there's any way we can progress now. Is it in like doing a room? Okay, we're just gonna have to take that angel deal. Basically, the reason I wanted the other angel deal is because this one won't be one that I can flip the item on. This will be a regular angel deal where I can't flip the item. D dude! Stop putting this room here! There you go. Right. We did get Job's family, but yeah, we, as you can see, we, we can't flip it, which is annoying. There you go. To the next floor. Um, I guess I could play this twice. Get nothing. Goddamn confessionals are so ass. They very rarely pay out. Very, very rarely pay out. Right. Let's keep moving on. Why do I use... I got Mum's knife again. And I only get it for a goddamn room. It's very annoying. Just run in there. Boom. That worked out really well. Right, I know this run's got what it takes. We just need some more damage. There's apparently an item in here. That small rock. I'm going to take that as the other character, because I need more damage on him. Our damage overall is just bad, though, on both characters. Damage is not what I want it to be. Good, good. Okay, at least got a little bit more damage now. It's not quite as dire of a situation anymore. Still not good. It's not quite as dire. It's been kind of a... It's a weird run, because it's like... It's like partially struggle bus, like we are having trouble. But at the same time, it's kind of not struggle bus. Got an item room in here. Come back as my other fella. But I'm really liking this too many options weird synergy we've got going on. It works really well as this character. Because you can leave the rooms you want as what you want them as. And change the rooms you don't want into something else. Soul Heart, I'll leave that for the other guy. Right, back over here. Open up the item room. We don't have a fucking key. Wait, do we need a key? No, we don't. Good. Oh, wait, so it's roll back around again. Cool, and we've got Laura's, or I don't know what that is. I think Laura's is the better one here. Yeah, it is good. Good stuff. We're going to leave the soul heart on the floor there. Got another item room here. We get the angel. I will take that. Now we've got piercing at least. Right. Back over for this. Thank you. Where's that actual item room? We do we do need an actual key for that. Oh shit, that guy blew up quick. Those enemies can be really rough. I don't know how to best navigate through this room. Like this, there you go. That works. Okay. The angel wing thing isn't particularly great with this guy. More bombs, lovely. It's not that I found a good place for our Ace of Diamonds. We could kind of use the money. I don't even know what I'm firing at here. Oh god. A demon is what I'm firing at. Bloody dust. Taking damage increases range. 2% chance on taking damage to destroy the trinket. Ooh, that's kind of an interesting idea with the golden version. 
I like it when people go to the extra effort of making cool golden versions for their trinkets. Picking up a coin is an 8% chance to spawn a card. Oh, damn. That's pretty good, too. Right, what we got here? So we got Angel Deal and Item Room. What's better? Normal Angel Deal? I think I think it's the Angel Deal's better, right? We've got one key, so we want to go for this first. Angel Deal, we get Glyph of Balance. Pretty good. We need another key for that. If we can get one. That's rather nice, thank you. Bloody hell. Bloody saw blade enemies. Come on, game. Give me another key, please. That's all I need. Yeah, I'm loving the fact that EID shows us our gold versions of trinkets as well. It's very, very nice. You need to perish, my guy. There's our key. Lovely. And we want to, we want to go in the regular item room here, so we want to change over. Yeah, Mum's Razor for one room. Oh my goodness. Mum's Razor for one room. I'm so blessed. Alright. Ooh, got an Eternal Heart there. Take that. Ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. Give me that trinket for a moment. We can get ourselves a bunch more Rotten Hearts and massively increase our fly production here. It's a little bit slow going, but... Taking the uh, initiative. I really, really am not a fan of this room at all. It's a cool design, but oh god, my brain, it hurts. Right. I think we've got all rotten hearts now. Yeah, there you go. Our fly production has just gone absolutely crazy with the other trinket, so I'm very happy about that. I'll up our damage by quite a bit. Right, let's check out item room. Uh, first of all, let's grab our trinket back, the, otherwise I'm going to forget. Just try and run through it. Yes. Uh, do you know I've got Holy Mantle? Why am I so worried? I could just literally run through it and it wouldn't matter. Secret room here, maybe? Indeed it is. Grab that. Go to our item room and then to the secret room. Cool, yeah. Yeah, item room. Just remember, we don't need to um, to use our... What's it called here? Flip. I don't even know what we've got going on here. Infestation. Good, good, good. And then rocket in a jar. I don't want to flip for that. Rather save my flip. But infestation is very good with the, um, the trinket that we've got because that produces double the amount of spiders. We're very, very strong right now in terms of uh, spiders and flies. Right. Go through here. Uh, that is a key. Eh, whatever. And we shall just do the boss, I think. I think we're ready. You step on your baby. Oh, bloody hell. For some reason I wasn't expecting that. And you fired a bomb at me as well. That was kind of rude. Oh, lord. Don't lose the Eternal Heart, please, if we can help it. Yeah, good. Right. Angel Deal, where art thou? Oh, it's not an Angel Deal. Bollocks. For God's sake, game. This is annoying. Right. I think I need to go in here. Wait, no. This isn't going to work. This is annoying. Um, right, I definitely take that. Hmm. Well, I didn't need to give myself give. Knife. Peace. Two. Definitely want to go through here. But yeah, we're not able to get our angel deal. That's kind of annoying. That's a sack room, a dice room. Yeah, none of those make any sense. I think if I leave through here and re-enter. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be uh, a thingy room anymore. Didn't really work out that one, did it? I forget that's how that works. 
This guy is actually kind of terrible compared to the other dude right now. The other dude's got it all going on. Look her off. Cool. Alright, we go back. Oh no, okay, nice. It is there. I was not expecting it to be here. And there's nothing in it. Okay. Eh. <laughs> you win some, you lose some, I guess. Right. Down we go. Not feeling particularly good about my HP right now. XL floor's good though, I like that. Very glad I did that there. Wasn't super necessary, but... Oh, God. Yeah, health-wise, I'm not looking forward to uh, playing as my other guy here. Ooh, cancer. Plus two fire rate. I think we just take it as our other guy, to be honest. I think the fly production's more important as you. Fly and spider production, I should say. And we've got item room here. And we've got Pascal Candle is probably the better one to take out of the two here. Don't care too much about that. Yeah, we'll take this. Not bad. Right, hopefully Holy Mantle will keep us reasonably safe here. I don't know why this guy has such terrible range. What happened to our range? Oh god, this guy's like a boss. Too many maggots as well. I don't even know who I want to actually fight the boss as. Who do I want to be when I fight the boss? It's a difficult question. Okay, try and take those out. Oh, lots of spiders. At least this guy's got piercing. This piercing is really nice. And obviously we've got the ability to use our angel powers. Don't think that'll do much for us at this point. Yeah, flies and spiders are the way to go here. I honestly can't believe how bad this book is for a quality three. A mum or dad item or guppy item for one room. Most of those are not worth one room usage, just apart from like mum's knife, maybe. Oh, that was creep. Lovely. Stood right on top of that. Got some bombs to use at least now for the um, thingy middle phase where he starts ch uh, charging us. Always my bombs ready for that. Ooh, this guy's kind of interesting. I've not seen him before. He is also very dead. Ah. Oh, apart from when I get hit by him, then he's not so dead. God damn, the game is like just sending us the best shit ever. Okay, um. I think I. I think this is better for a boss. As long as it works, which I think it does, I need to actually check out that it does. I haven't seen one pop yet, so keep an eye out. Oh, what the heck? What the fuck is this guy? I'm unsure and I'm scared. I've not seen a single one stick yet, so... So far, I'm going to say it doesn't work. And go back to... Uh, Good old cancer. All reliable. Yeah, I'm going back to all reliable. You can never get enough cancer. Especially when it's double cancer. Golden cancer. Dude, can I stop fighting this literal mini boss, please? Like, apparently bombs are very effective against him. Karma, I think I'm okay. Can we get to the boss as well, please? This is difficult at this point. Yeah, good, good. Where art thou, boss? Where art thou? 
We got a cracked key here. Guess we could use it right now. Or not. That's not a cracked key door. I was expecting it to be. It can't be this way, can it? I've got to check though. No, it can't. At least that cracked key thing is here though. That's not what I meant to do. I just used uh, flip, I think. Yeah, I just used flip by accident. Bugger. It is, it, it's weird that cracked keys now reveal where the secret room is if it's nearby. I swear that never used to do that. Did get rid of some rotten hearts there, but a turdy heart and a morbid heart is pretty good. Weird sentence to say, but it's true. I still don't understand why, this, why both my characters have such terrible wrench. Dude, it's none of these ways. Are you kidding me? This was savage. Has to be over here, doesn't it? Okay. Come on, boss. Okay, this is definitely a room where I want to just press that. There ain't no way I'm doing that room properly. Ain't no way. Luckily, like I said, this is an XL floor, so we will be through it quickly once we get to the boss, but... Just taking a bit of time to get there. Hey, fella. You got pretty epically earned. He's sucking. Boy, be sucking. We haven't uh, got any great dips yet. I was really hoping we'd get a... Um, Golden one or a... What's, what's the other one? You want a golden one or you want the holy one? Them ones are real good. God damn, where is this boss? On XL floors. On these... Uh, these floors are just... Insane. Okay. Grab that. I do like I do like it when I can risk it all to just insta kill the whole room. Boko bombs doesn't do much for us, and here we are finally at the boss. Right, we've got flip ready so we can play as both characters here. I think that's the best way we want to do this. I love it when the bomb just does not go in even remotely where you want to put it. I don't think I've ever seen him do this attack before. Not that it matters. See he's in the next phase now. Surprised the phases don't change you flip, but nice that they don't, I guess. Don't know how I didn't get hit there. Very pleased. Okay, so that one does flip us. I was gonna say I was, I was surprised the other one didn't, but this one did. Okay, I did have a holy mantle for a hot moment there, but it's gone now. Really don't know how to to effectively dodge this guy's attacks. I just kind of stand here and hope for the best. It kind of works a bit. Okay, that's good. Right. We are ready to go. Let's do it. So we've got flip ready once we want to change over. Like, basically, if we lose enough health for it to be warranted, we'll change over. When did we get dry, baby? I don't remember that at all. And we have him now. He's He's chilling doing a, a fine, fine job, but I just don't remember when he became into existence. I'm trying to use Dry Baby effectively um, to, to block shots, but also to deal good damage. Now, I was not expecting this attack, because this attack's pretty rare. I remember the first time the boss did this attack, and I was just like, how does anyone ever dodge this? And it's, it's not actually that bad. It's a bit annoying, and it's... It's mainly because it's a bit unpredictable because she doesn't do it very often, but it's not really that hard. And I've got four bombs to work with here. It's not a lot, but it's enough. Again, Dry Baby. Using him to block shots where and when we can. He does good damage. He does good work. Just leave him to chill. There we go. Here's the charge attack coming in. few extra hits on him there. I love that strategy. It's so good. But you got to remember we've got rotten hearts here, so if we get hit again, we need to flip. One more hit and we flip. We've got you almost a halfway, though, which is pretty good going, I think. 
Yeah, there you go, we flip. We actually got a holy poop there helping us out. And now we've got a good amount more health. We've got some divorce papers as well for a big bump to fire it, actually. Nice. We lost that burn heart pretty quick there, but it's fine. Ooh. Depression helped us out nicely there. Wasn't expecting that. And you're nearly dead now. Just under a quarter away. Unfortunately, we don't have another bomb, so we can't do that again. But I think that pretty much closes out the fight here. Got one more attack and then we're good. I can just face tank this. Don't need to move. There you go. Good stuff. A pretty fun run indeed. I hope you guys did enjoy that one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.